Now let's learn about the hybridization of carbon dioxide molecules. We have this carbon dioxide Lewis structure. From the Lewis structure, we can determine our electron group, which is we have two electron group and our types of hybridization is sp from the electron group we will know our type of hybridization and next the structure involves carbon with 2s2 2p2 valence electronic configuration and also oxygen with 2s2 2p4 and from our Lewis structure, we know that our structure have two sigma bonds and have two pi bonds. How do we know? I look at our Lewis structure. This double bond, one pi, one sigma, one pi, one sigma. So we have two sigma bonds and two pi bonds. Now, let's go to the hybridization process. We will start with ground state of carbon because carbon is our central atom which is 2s2 2s2 2p2 Next is promotion state or promotion of electron and from the structure we know that we have two sigma bond and two pi bonds indicates that we need two single electron for the formation of sigma bonds and two single electron for the formation of two pi bonds so total up single electrons that we need in our orbital is four electrons look at the ground state we only have two single electrons so what we have to do is we have to promote this one electron we have to promote to the empty orbital here so our promotion of electron will become like this 2s 2p 1 1 1 1 so now we have four single electrons two single electrons for two sigma bonds two single electrons for two pi pi bonds okay last step is sp hybrid sp hybrid which involve one s and one p sp one s plus one p so it will become sp hybrid orbital s have single electron and one p has single electron after we use one orbital p we have remaining two p orbitals which contain single electron in each orbital so we will write it as single electron like this so it will become an hybrid 2p orbital for pi for pi bonds okay so settle the hybridization process for carbon dioxide